Praise be Jesus Christ. The reason that many people think that the Eucharistic miracle of Tixtla in Mexico is the most impressive Eucharistic miracle of our time is because of the nature of how the bleeding host was bleeding. So let me just give you a quick summary. Uh, there was a parish mission. Uh, they were giving Holy Communion at Mass. There was a religious sister who noticed that one of the consecrated hosts was oozing a reddish substance. This happened in 2006. Um, between 2009 and 2012, it was scientifically um, studied by, by many different scientists and, and, and medical people. And it was found that this, this red substance was human blood, but there was also tissue in there. And I'll just read to you um, three points among many. This is from the Eucharistic Miracles of the World. And this miracle was confirmed by the local bishop. It says, two studies conducted by eminent forensic experts with different methods have shown that the substance originates from the interior excluding the hypothesis that someone could have applied it from the outside. They say it's like it's a real wound where the blood is coming out from the inside. And, and later, a few years later, the outside of the consecrated host, it, it kind of looked like a wound. The, the blood had coagulated. But what's interesting is it says, in 2010, in a study of digital microscopic penetration done with ultraviolet rays and intense white light. The analysis showed that under the already coagulated blood and structures of the white host, there was also fresh blood. So this is years later, fresh blood in the inside. The analysis confirmed that the fact that the blood was not applied by someone from the exterior because if it had been, it could not remain fresh for that long, from 2006 to 2010, in only the interior part of the host. So that's, that's kind of the mind-boggling thing. And then it also says, an analysis was done of the phytochemical markers, which confirmed that it was live cardiac muscle. There was tissue they found in there, live cardiac muscle. No study exists that can maintain cardiac tissue alive in this situation. Normally after 48 hours, the tissue dies. And there's a lot more details about this wonderful Eucharistic miracle. But the Lord, He wants us to know that He is truly present in the Holy Eucharist. It's really Him. In John chapter 6, the Lord Jesus says, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Viva Cristo Rey and happy Corpus Christi.